Hello everyone. Uh, today we will start new lesson 1.3 plant and light. This is uh, for grade 3 primary science Cambridge. Let's start. We are going to learn that plants need light and right condition to be healthy. Obviously right condition about what plant. Plants need sunlight. Plants need water to stay healthy. Learn that baby plants grow from seed. Talk about the importance of a pear test and so on. So let's start. These young plants have started growing. You can see here, starting from here, then it's grow up, then leaves get bigger and bigger and like this. So which plant is oldest? We are seeing this one as it's growing up. Which plant is the youngest, the small one? What do these plants need to help them grow and be healthy? Sunlight, because with the help of sunlight, plants make their food in their, in their leaves. And second important thing, water. These are the vocabulary word, conditions, germination, seedling, uh, shoot, and wilt. It's not healthy. It will be a die after some time. So a healthy plant has strong roots, stem and leaves. An unhealthy plant may have yellow leaves. The plant may wilt because of water. What do baby plants need? Baby plants need what? The flowers of a plant may seed. Inside each seed is a very small root shoot and a very small stem inside. So these are the part of you can see. If there is a seed, you can see uh, outside this is called seed coat, which is protecting the seed. This is called seed coat. And inside there is an embryo. This one, it's complete name embryo. Uh, inner part, root shoot and stem shoot. Because after some time when you are putting inside the soil and when the, the condition is fulfilled, you are putting uh, water. So then the root shoot, it's going downward and uh, stem shoot going upward. And then like this, uh, the plant, baby plant start growing. So inside the seed, we have here stem shoot and root shoot. And the other side, there is a food store. Obviously, the seed, we are not putting any kind of special uh, things inside until the uh, and there is seed until uh, until the seed not growing up. If you put the seed anywhere else, so there is inside the seed. It's not dead. It's not dead. Why? Because inside the seed there is a food store which provide the food to the tiny plant. This one, okay. This is also named embryo for tiny plant inside the seed. So this one, uh, food store protecting and give the plant and give the nutrient or food to the tiny plant inside the seed. So both uh, both ready to grow. The seed also has a store of food for the baby plant to start growing. We call this germination. So what is germination? The process in which the seeds start growing. Okay, so this process is called germination. We are putting the seed in the soil and put a little bit water. Then seed uh, in, uh, in in two weeks, within two weeks or three weeks, it start growing. So this is this process is called germin germination. So the root shoot grow first to get water, then the stem shoots grow. So the first thing roots it's grow downward. Why? Because it's need water. So it's take the water from the soil. The photograph show so uh, shows how a seed start growing. You can see a root shoot growing downwards and a stem shoots growing upward. So the root shoot growing downward and stem shoot growing upward. This one growing upward and up above the soil. And this one growing downward in the soil to get the water. There are some questions. The root shoots always grow downward. Why is this? 
the root shoots always growing downward to collect water, to collect water nutrient from the soil. Obviously, when the food store inside the seeds is finished, then the root uh, root shoot it take the soil and the nutrient, the water from the soil, and it's growing upward. The stem shoot always grows upward. Why? The stem growing upward, and when it's coming above the earth, uh, above the soil or on the ground, above the ground, so there are small leaves. You know, when there are leaves, then it start making food for the plant. So water taking from the soil and and uh, food making process happen in the plant with the help of sunlight. So obviously, and for seed germination or the process of germination, it's no need. Uh, sunlight but when it's little bit grow up uh, seed uh, germinated then it needs sunlight for making food for making food for the plant and then the plant plants growing upward but without food the plant its wells cannot survive it's not stay healthy so the stem shoot upward why to may to collect the sunlight from the sun okay and making food and it little bit growing upward, the stem growing upward, then the small leaves coming. Look at what the children say. What do you think a plant needs to grow? I think that the, uh, the seeds just need light to grow. No, seed no need light to grow. They just need soil. I think they need water and light. This one you can say, correct? Right? Water and light. They just need soil, need also soil. Obviously, they collect the water from the soil, but not just soil. I mean, you can say water, light, and, and the soil warm place as it's written before. There is an activity, can plant grow well in the dark? You will need, we are talking about light, why it's important. The plant, obviously, pl uh, light is very important for the plant. Why? Because plants making food, uh, sorry, with the help of sunlight, the plant make their food. So the sunlight is important for a plant. So can plant grow well in the dark? For this, we have an activity. You can see you're putting some plant in the, in the light place and the other one in the dark place. You're just put, putting a box uh, on it. So uh, you will need six small, uh, similar young plants in the same size pot and uh, some soil, a light place, a box. Um, place three plants in the light and three plants in the dark. What do you predict? Your prediction after some time, what will happen? Make sure you wash your hand after touching plants and or soil. Why do the plants need to be similar? Because if you want a fair test, so you should put a plant, uh, sorry, you should take the plant with the same condition. All of them are similar. So why should the plant have the, have the same soil and water? Yes, because we are doing activity about light. So the other ingredient, other things should be same. Light, water, same uh, plant size, all of them young. So the other thing should be same. So we are we are just doing the experiment about light. So observe uh, observe the plant every day for five days. Water them if the soil begin to dry. What differences do you notice? Okay, day one on day one we observe no differences between the plants. Why? It is the first day. All the plants are similar. In the light and the plants in the dark. Okay, second, third, fourth, I'm just talking about the fifth day. After five days, the plant in the sunlight, it's growing well. Okay, it's grow up well. But uh, in the dark, uh, in the dark place, it's not grow well. As uh, their, their height, you can see the height, it's uh, get a little bit down. I'm not doing well, obviously. Why? Because uh, the plants need sunlight for making food. So if there is no sunlight, it cannot make food properly. So their size, it's not growing up, not growing well. But the plant in the sunlight grow well. Why do seedling stems bend? Why do seedling stem bend? You can see here, these all of them, their stem are bended or you can say bending. 
baby plants are called baby plants are called seedling okay uh, there are some questions we will explain about this baby plant are called seedling okay. these seeds growing near a window are four days older or four days old why do why are the stem bent obviously what's the problem this is, should be in your mind the plant the plant the stem the plant flower always always or you can say toward the sunlight toward the plant will always grow toward the sunlight plants will always grow toward the sunlight or to the light source and if you can see if uh, the this uh, plant, uh, this pot inside the room, and all the light coming at one place, some sunlight. So the stem moving toward the, or it's bending toward the window, toward the sunlight, it's coming from that source. So you can say for question number five, answer all the plant, all the plant grow toward the sunlight, toward the sunlight, always. Question number six, how, how could we change things so that the stems would grow upward and straight? How can we change things? If we are using, if we are doing these uh, experiment inside the room, so obviously it's uh, the, you can see the stem, it's bending toward the, toward the window. But if it, it's outside, outside the home, okay, in the, in, you can say, the park and the garden. So that time you can say the, the plant, it's not growing uh, or bending at uh, one side, it's growing upward because it's catching light from all, all, all the sides. If the plant is outside. So the sunlight is uh, very bright outside. You can see and also shining on the plants from, from, most, uh, from mostly all the sides. So plant grow upward into the sunlight. Okay, think like a scientist. So you will need plant seed, soil pot, and ruler for making this. This is also an experiment. Light and plant growth. You will need some seedling, young plant, two plant trays, soil, seed, a ruler, a place which is a, a place which is light, a place which is dark. For checking the soil, the, your plant is going well, the light place in the dark place. Observe some seedling, look at the, look at their roots, stem and leaves, draw them, give two trays ready with soil, and sow 10 seeds in each tray. Cover each seed with a little soil. And give water to the seeds so that they do not dry out. Place one tray in the in a light place and the other in the dark place. Predict uh, what you think will happen. Observe the trays over a number of days. Record growth of the seeds in, in each tray. Use two charts like this one. What do you observe? about the way the seed grow. What is the difference between the seed and the two tray? Was your prediction correct? This was, this was a science inquiry. Could we call this a fair test? Yes, obviously you can call. If you are using proper thing and proper uh, items or you can say tools, so we can say it's a fair test. We give the water, all the plant properly then. Was it uh, also another type of inquiry? Yeah, you can do a lot of inquiries or more than one. So if you want a great answer, so you can do the experiment inquiry more than one, at least three times. So you can get the better result. Obviously, uh, when you're making uh, or completing this bar chart, so you can observe uh, in the, the tray in the light place, the seed growing well, but in the dark place, in the dark place, what do you think the seed grow up? The seed will grow up. No, it's the, it, the seed uh, germination process happened. 
I, I told you before, in germination process, seed no need any sunlight because seed inside the soil. It's no need light. But when it's grow up above the ground, the stem grow up. So then uh, there are small leaves. Tiny plant, it has leaves. So it's like the sunlight. And then it's growing up or faster. But if there is uh, no sunlight, it's not grow. But a seed germination process, no need. No need any kind of sunlight. It's need other conditions, but not sunlight. Water properly, uh, properly give the water, warm soil. So it's need for growth. Okay, this video will stop here. This topic, uh, plants and light. In the next video, we will discuss about the next topic. So until here, you understand what I know that the plants need light and the plants need light and right condition to be healthy. I know that baby plant grow from seed. Obviously, we are putting the seed inside the soil and then it starts germination or growing process. This is a tiny plant. So after this uh, young plant, okay. Uh, I can talk. I can talk about the importance of a peer test. Obviously, when you are doing activity, other thing you are not uh, making less or more. We are just talking about sunlight. So we are putting our pots one in uh, one uh, one of them in sunlight and one of them in the dark place, and we can where we can check that experiment.